Former US Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice has been made one of the first two female members of the Augusta National Golf Club. So that's where the WMDs are. For this episode of The Roast, exclusive content will be available to Augusta's male members whenever the member's green jacket appears on screen. But women can't play golf. Their breasts would get in the way. So Augusta is finally opening up its membership to people with female coloured skin. Until now, the golf course was just for men, like Father's Day or just for men. You see, rich white men are like a fine cognac, and everyone else is like peach schnapps. They just don't mix, which of course you'd know if you were a rich white man. Speaking of people like me, we're just glad to see a woman holding an iron again, even if she is just a black secretary. Of state. And her membership makes her a double bogey to the club's founder, Clifford Roberts, who once said, as long as I'm alive, all the golfers will be white and all the caddies will be black. <laughs> Man, he must have hated basketball and football and athletics and baseball and boxing. You know, he probably just hated all non-golf sports and black people. Like BJ Singh, who's black and his name is VJ. <laughs> so with Augusta's announcement, feminism is now officially complete. First, they broke through the glass ceiling, and now they've broken through the gold-plated door of the Augusta Golf Club. Women have made it. All two of them. But still the question remains, why would you want to be part of a society that for so long fought against your inclusion? It'd be like, it'd be like a sexist trying to join the 21st century. Isn't that right, Clark? Yes, as long as that sexist is a man. Yeah, I guess sometimes there is a good reason not to let everyone in.